Hello again, Puggles. I miss Megan. And I miss Ruth. And we have another wonderful story for you today. Miss Ruth, what did you bring for our clue it's today? It's a baby doll. Ooh. Do any of you play with baby dolls? Well, our story today has a very special baby in it. Let's watch to see. Hi, Puggles. It's Katie here. I'm so happy to be with you today. Today we are doing lesson 3.1 and our big truth is that God loves us. Can you do that with me? God loves us. All right, and our verse is we know and rely on the love God has for us. God is love. That comes from the Bible and it's 1 John 4, 16. You guys look at this little boy in my picture. He looks like he's having fun, doesn't he? Well, God loves this little boy, just like he loves you and me. Wherever he goes and whatever he does, God loves him all the time. God loves you all the time too. God loves you no matter what you're doing or how you're feeling. He sent Jesus to show us how much he loves us. And today we're learning that God loves us all the time, okay? And our Bible story comes from the book of Luke in the Bible, chapter two, okay? And that's in the New Testament. Are you ready for our story? Okay. It says, God sent his son to make a way for God's love to come into our lives and to bring us joy. God's son would be the one to save the whole world. His name is Jesus. And when he was born, angels came to announce his birth. They appeared to a group of shepherds who were out in the field with their sheep. The Bible tells us that Jesus grew to be a man. He loved and obeyed God in a way that no one else ever would. Jesus never sinned. One day, Jesus would bring us the gift of forgiveness so that we could love and follow God in a brand new way. What an awesome story from our Bible. All right, you guys, I have something to show you right here. This is a baby doll. I'm sure some of you have these around your house. If not a baby doll, maybe another toy that looks like a baby doll. Who has seen a real baby? Have you seen a real baby? Have you? Oh, that is awesome if you have. Well, I have, I've had three kids, so I've seen real babies before and they're so cute and so little, a little bit bigger than my baby doll, but. All right, now, if you have a baby doll at your house, feel free to grab one for this lesson, okay? But if not, you can just watch me. You can watch me. This is my little baby doll and I'm gonna pretend it's a real baby. So this is how you hold a baby. You gotta support its head, support its bottom, support its body, because babies are not very strong when they're tiny. They can't hold up their own head. It kind of wobbles around and you have to be really careful with real babies. Have you ever held a real baby before? If you have, then you are awesome. And I'm sure you are so gentle with that real baby because we have to be really gentle with real babies. Baby dolls, we can pretend that they're real. We can pretend to be very gentle with them. But you know what? Babies are amazing because they're so new to the world. But one baby was the most amazing baby of all because that baby was Jesus. Remember in our story that God sent Jesus to the world to love us and to show us how to live our life? Well, Jesus was just a tiny baby too when he was born. He was the most amazing baby. Sending Jesus into the world was God's way of saying, I love you to us. There will never be another baby like him, never. When we think of Jesus, we get to remember how much God loves us. He loves all people who have ever lived and he loves us all the time, whatever we feel like and wherever we are. Okay, I'm gonna put my baby down for a little bit. Put it down for a nap, there we go. <laughs> all right, I have some questions to ask you from our lesson. Are you ready? 
Put your thinking caps on and get ready. Okay, the first question is, what made Jesus a different baby than any other baby? So why was Jesus, when he was a baby, and Jesus, as he was growing up, why was Jesus different than anybody else? Because Jesus came as God into the world as a baby. And that's God's way of showing us that he loves us. Jesus lived a perfect life. He never sinned. That's how he's different from anybody else. Okay? Question number two. Are you ready? Get your thinking caps back on. How much of the time does God love us? So how much of the time does God love us? Does he love us just sometimes? Just a little bit of the time? How much does, of the time does God love us? Mm. God loves us all the time. Remember that God loves you all the time. He loves me all the time. No matter what we're feeling, no matter what we're doing, God loves us all the time, okay? Okay, let's bow our heads and close our eyes. We're gonna pray for our lesson. Dear God, thank you for loving us all the time. Thank you for sending Jesus to show us your love. Thank you for these puggles that are doing this lesson today. Thank you for their parents, grandparents, family members, friends, whoever's helping them, God. Thank you for them. Pray that they have a blessed week. In Jesus' name, amen. Bye, puggles. Jesus was such a special baby. God sent him to us to show us that he loves us. God loves us. Can you say that with us? God, God loves us. us. Let's say that again. God, God loves, loves us. us. We have a new verse and it talks about how God is love. Let's learn it together. We know and rely on the love God has for us. We know and rely on the love God has for us. God is love, God is love, God is love. First John 4, 16. <whistles> we know and rely on the love God has for us. We know and rely on the love God has for us. God is love, God is love, God is love. God is love, God is love, God is love. First John 4, 16. Thanks for joining us, Puggles. Bye.